morning folks how are you all doing God, I can't see anything Jesus there we go <laughs> oh what a gorgeous day it's been a while since I woke up to a sunny day let's get up the cab this is my conservatory I can wake up in the morning when it's nice and sunny get me coffee and because it's all black in here the sun comes through heats it all up nicely not that great in the summer but in the winter or when it's chilly bang on I've got absolutely no idea what the plan is today CJ's still here it's just us now not really got any plans so far one thing I do need to do though I probably will go and use the hoover and stuff and sort this out because it's a right shit hole in here <laughs> all this mud it's kind of impossible when there's multiple people and dogs running around to keep it clean oh yes Audi Sunday the 9th when's that next week got litter pickers in for a fiver been meaning to get one because it's kind of disgusting having to pick up stuff from my hand look at this sorry it could be worse can't it if we're honest it could be worse had quite a few comments about uh, the video the other day when I tested those roof antennas. Uh, I mean, obviously that wasn't like a scientific test. It was just very basic, like, is there any difference between my one, basically? There's, there's better ways to test them, I'm aware of that. But it was just a little quick thing, just out of curiosity. Because at the end of the day, uh, I was just curious if it was going to be better than mine. So it was just looking at the bars and seeing if there was a notable increase. And... I don't think there's there's going to be, like, my aerial I've got up there, it's nothing amazing, I think it's about 50 quid, massive dome thing. Nine times out of ten, that thing's got a signal, so... I think there's a point where it's like, they can only be so good, so if there's signal there, you're going to get it, if there's not, there's not. I don't think there's a magic solution of some super mega aerial that's going to get signal from a thousand miles away or anything like that i guess the more money you spend probably get you know better but then they're probably gonna be massive as well and so i think there's a balance uh, i was expecting that white one to be better but again it's the same it says on the packet 12 to 15 dbi which is what mine is as well and them little ones uh, i <clears throat> i've actually got one of those little the little black puck thing tiny one i've got that as well but the good thing what i do with that is i have my big one on the roof and then if i'm not getting signal on the big one for whatever reason i stick that other one on the end of a brush take the brush off and stick that on the handle and then poke that around and nine times out of ten i'll be able to find it that's what works for me having two options that i can you know place one somewhere else and even like the cable's long enough I can get it outside the van and stick it on the ground somewhere. So that's how I've done it. I don't think for a reasonable amount of money there's like a magical thing that you'll get signal anywhere. It's just one of them things. You'll, you'll pretty much always get signal, but is it enough signal to for what you need? Maybe your needs are less than mine. Obviously I'm uploading a video every day and downloading music and all of these things. So I need a pretty good upload speed so my criteria is probably a lot higher than the average joe who just wants to you know watch a couple of youtube videos or something take that review with a pinch of salt it doesn't really mean anything there's no brands involved or any of that it was just literally a quick test bit of fun uh, just because james had them because he's going to put them on his van so as my system's already set up we thought yeah just check them and see what the deal is just cruising through the comments trying to catch up on things a little bit improving every day saying about could you show sort of van layouts and that kind of thing and um I, that's an idea i had a little while ago i've started a new playlist it's a little fun fun thing that i thought would be good i've called it 10 minute tours yeah i just want to sort of showcase people's vans a bit like get them all in the same place so that you can especially for people building and go on the playlist and once I've got plenty in there you'll be able to see all different layouts and different ideas and things and it'll give you like a one-stop area to get some inspiration for your build hopefully if there's any of you out there that would uh, like to showcase your van but yeah I'd be well up for because I love seeing people's vans I think it's brilliant so I get the pleasure of 
having a look at you know people's builds and ideas and then obviously all of you get to see it as well so if there's anyone obviously i'm in the midlands at the minute um but i will be moving around soon please feel free drop me a message uh either email or through private message on instagram if you'd like to show your van on here then yeah i'd be more than happy to come and have a look so there's that that's a new thing peter brooks can you do a video on your internet setup and what editing software you use for video and pictures they're quite interested in that sort of stuff show that at some point it's pretty straightforward really there's only two parts of it but yeah i can show you that uh editing software for video uh, i'm using final cut pro now and then for the pictures i use adobe lightroom and sometimes photoshop depends what i'm doing bugger tell him to pull his finger out and release his video so we can see it i know trust me it's a ball ache trying to keep his bloody slap head incognito <laughs> my life will be a lot easier once that's out in the open a mixed response on the brexit stuff which is fine like i was expecting that i knew that was gonna happen um i was just giving you my opinion so uh, but yeah as always if you've got any questions put them in the comments like genuine questions and i will try to answer them a little segment on the videos when I can. I enjoy doing that because it's like a direct response. And again, because it's daily videos now, you don't have to wait six months for a reply on your comment. So this will give you more of a idea of the power situation now. Uh, so I've been off grid for two days now. When I was at my mum's, I plugged in, uh, charged up the batteries. Been up here, fridge is on 24 seven on the inverter. I've edited two videos on the laptop, obviously. 12 volt charger mentioned that before charging camera batteries music lights all of that and my batteries 13.2 <laughs> uh, there is a bit of solar charge going in yeah as i said before power is not an issue anymore it took me a long time to get here by the way a lot of trial and error a lot of things waste some money and all of that but i think i finally got it cracked so now i can just live with unlimited power Thanks. Hello, mate. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm going to switch spot now because I've been here for a couple of days and it's always a good idea to not outstay your welcome. God, it's ain't good. My gauges aren't working. Because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But now they're just completely dead. It's alright for speedo because I always use this anyway. I tell you, hands are a lot more capable than most people think. You just have to be sort of proactive with your driving and not just obviously go straight through everything. Try and dodge the big ones and get both your wheels like things like this here over at level. It's a lot better. The little dashboard's decided to start working now. That's better. Woo! It was meant to be 20 minutes, but that road was closed. I know it's that, yeah. yeah. So you don't have to pixelate like slap head from this distance. <laughs> I can see it! Oh my god! <laughs> I'll be a bit eight. Yeah. Be an hour. And the the self-control thing, I can get it back. Yeah. One of us is definitely hitting the deck. Yeah. <laughs> Camera on. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <Ooh. laughs> I just punched that. <laughs> oh. Watch me go now. Good lad. Oh, don't shoot you, f***ing! <laughs> Scruffy bastard.
Look at that, different day, different view. We're both gonna get some work done now, so we will check back in a bit. He's back. That is sick. It's got an awesome time lapse. I thought that was going to be crap. I just banged it on and the sky set itself on fire. Making today's video took some time. All the little drone bits and trying to delete CJ's bloody slap head out of every clip. <laughs> What's that? Wood for our pal. Wood for our friend. What else you got? Nothing. Let's have a look. Nothing. It looks, looks golden. It's juice. It looks, it looks like. For example, that. <laughs> Bonjour. Oh my god. You scared me. Calm down. Oh, man. Jesus Christ. Get out of it. Oh, why? Disaster. Mm. Straight in. Maybe make it all about drinking whiskey. Again. Yes. This ain't bad whiskey. Eh? Uh, looks pretty damn good. Old Pultony. Pultony? <laughs> oh, Pultony. Pultony? Is that what you said? I don't know. Give me it. <laughs> it's got an L in it. <laughs> Pultony. Pultony. Yeah. Oh, I read your blog last night as well. Oh, yeah. Very good. Which one? He's got them on. Oh. I haven't got around to the, the second one yet. It's fine, it's very short. Was that of the other day? Yeah. <laughs> Shush! Ooh. It's not your turn. You don't smell anymore. We're good, aren't we? Massive eye bed. Puss over the face. Ooh. Big essential lick. That's nice, but you smell fishy. <laughs> so did he. I hope you enjoyed yesterday's video because that took a little while to make and yeah I shall see you all tomorrow. Mm -hmm.